Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we're going to open up some jungle booster packs and we may even open up some of those EX series packs in the background. I'm going to show you just a few PSA cards I've gotten in this week as, uh, as well as another booster box. But this video, I've got five first edition jungle packs to open up for LJ the Card Guy. There's his Instagram, at LJ the Card Guy. His eBay, LJ the Card Guy. And then he has an email, ljcurick9 at gmail.com. So pretty cool. He sent me these packs to open up. I think if there's some hollows, we may potentially grade them. We'll uh, we'll do those here in a second, and then at the end, I'll go over some of these EX Deoxys boxes or the two EX Deoxys and the Emerald box that I got. Uh, bought these from my personal collection. Got a Raichu Unlimited Gem Mint 10. Got a Charizard PC Clear. I was gonna buy this from PWCC, but. The auction went for higher than what you could get in a buy now. It was like at 80 bucks or something. I picked this up for 55 in a buy now. And then here's the big one. We've got a first edition Ho-Oh Gem Mint 10 from Neo Revelation. Bought this one a little while back. And it just took forever to get here. The guy didn't ship it till 11.7. Uh, but I'm glad it made it. it. looks like a pretty good 10 to me. So I'm definitely happy with that. You know, I think there was like a scratch on the front of the case up here. You can kind of see it right there. That's a little annoying, but overall, I mean, it's good. It looks great. Also got in, oh, let's see, got a jungle booster box. Not in perfect condition, so I'll probably open that one up. They sell the, I think, the unweighed packs for $90 each. I think that's what I was going to do. All right, so now these should be, I think you said some of them weighed at 20.3, some weighed at 20.8. 20.8 is usually light. But he said he opened up one of them and ended up being heavy. So that's one of the, that's just an example of where like packs can vary so much because I've seen booster boxes be opened up where 20.3 or 21.3 was the light and 21.5 to 21.6 was the heavy. And then you can see right here with Jungle, also 11 card pack. Usually these are around 21 for the heavy, but he said 20.8. And usually, like I said, usually that's a light. But we'll just see how it goes. He said he liked the gift of one of them, and it was indeed a heavy booster pack. Two. Either way, very much appreciate you sending the packs and have them open up on the channel. It's always cool when you guys do that. Kind of cuts out a step too. If um, you're looking to get the stuff graded, some people have their their items sent directly to me, and that can save them some money, especially if you're outside of the USA. All right, so we're gonna start with this. Uh, well, let's start with the Scyther artwork. Looks like we've got three Scyther and two Flareon. Make sure those cards are pushed down. Blue scissors are back. One, two, three, four. And these packs feel nice. Like the cards look pretty clean. But these come straight from a box. Look at that, we're starting off with a Pikachu. Would've been nice if it was the uh, promo Pikachu, but still very nice as we have that one. Again, that would've been nice to have as an error two with the Venonat. So I haven't pulled one of those from a booster pack. We've got Eevee, Bellsprout, Goldeen. Meowth, Persian, Rhydon, and Butterfree. And again, another one that could have been there, but is not. But it's still a good uncommon, nevertheless. So for the first rare, we have Pidgeot. So didn't get the, the hollow on that one. Very cool. So a very nice first edition rare. This jungle is probably the one set I've had more people submit non-hollows on to complete a set than any other set. I think because it's relatively, it's, it's not too hard to grade and it's relatively easy to get, uh, even for like the non-hollow unweighed packs. And then it's, uh, it's a smaller set, it's only 64 cards. One, two, three, four. Now if it was you know, something like an Expedition, I mean, you're talking about something really tough to get done <clears throat> for like the master set if you want to get all of them. So we have Mankey, Jigglypuff, Paris, we've got Execute, Eevee, there's another Venonat, doesn't have the line, we have a Cubone, Seeking, a little off center, check that out. We've got Parasect and Weeping Bell. So for the rare we have, ooh, got us a Hollow Clefable. 
Now, I'm sure most of you can see it has a really obvious print line straight down the middle of the, the hollow. And very common on Wizards of the Coast cards. Not too much chipping along the edges. You can see some silvering on this side. If it'll focus right. Then on this back side, let's check that out. Got a little white dot on the top left and then the bottom right. Overall, the back isn't too bad, but I think that print line will keep it from getting any higher possibly than a 9, probably about an 8 looking at uh, how obvious it is. They've marked down on the print lines a lot more recently. And, you know, it does stand out. It does attract from the card, so I mean, it's understandable. And they have to stay consistent. One, two, three, four. Just leave it up in the background. Next one. Here we go. We've got Execute Meowth, Eevee, Pokeball. There's another Pikachu. Very cool. We've got Spiro, Cubone, Nidorina, Tauros, Rapidash. Probably my favorite uncommon from the set. And then for the rare, we have Mr. Mime. So not a hollow, but a decent rare. This one used to be a real disruptor for decks because of its Pokemon of visible wall. Whenever an attack does 30 more damage to Mr. Mime, prevent that damage. So it'd have to be 20 or less, minimum two hits on that Mr. Mime, unless you had something like, what was it, the Aerodactyl? No, that may have been all evolution Pokemon. But basically something that stopped Pokemon powers. I know Aerodactyl did that, but I think it may have only been on evolutions. Or maybe it stopped people from evolving. There was a card that stopped the Pokemon powers. So pack number four, another Scyther artwork. We're going to start off with a Rhyhorn. We have a third Venonat, no line over there. We've got the Bellsprout, Spiro, Meowth, Mankey, Goldeen, Marowak. Gloom and right on. These cards seem to have really good color. I think this was a good print run. Even though they're lighter, that doesn't make I guess I would think that if it has a lot more deeper colors and more ink on it, it'd be a little bit heavier. Ooh, got the Mr. Mime Hollow. And let's look at that one, man. I'm not seeing the same kind of print line issue that the other one had. So it has a little bit of chipping on the side, but not too bad. Let's look at this back side. Little white dot right there. It does almost have like that extra card whitening kind of edge that you see sometimes which is sometimes you can kind of rub your finger on it and it'll just kind of, it'll lay down a little bit but I try not to touch someone else's card too much and then the bottom corners aren't too bad a little white dot there but nothing too big nothing that would detract majorly from it I would say because of the slight silvering and then a the little bit of white uh, edge on the back side this was probably get about a nine I mean it, you know if Whoever the grader is overlooked some of that other stuff. Yeah, it's a long shot, Tim, but I, I don't think it would get a 10. But man, we've got two hollows. All right, still have one more pack to go. So, so far, two for four. Very good pulls. Pack number five. One, two, three, four. Set that one up in the background. Another Venonat, so that's four for five on that. An Execute, Pokeball, Rhyhorn, got the Jigglypuff, Oddish, Cubone, Dodrio, Nirina, and Tauros. And then for the fifth and final rare from the Jungle First Edition packs, we have Victory Bell. Not too bad. So we got three decent Pokemon uh, for the, for the non-hollow rares. And we also got two hollows. Got the Clefable and the Mr. Mime. And then... Uh, Thank you so much, uh, LJ, the card guy, for sending these cards to me. We'll talk about which cards you want to have graded. Uh, but you guys, don't go just yet. We are not finished. I'm going to open up one EX Deoxys pack, and I'm also going to open up one EX Emerald pack. I actually have two boxes of the EX Deoxys. I bought a bunch of these packs off the same guy, and all of them have always checked out. So I'm actually going to sell one box as unweighed. And I'm going to sell one box as weighed, just depending. I already have some of his packs that are weighed. I'm not going to weigh these just yet. But I am going to uh, sell this one, sell these out as unweighed if you're interested. And I'm going to do the EX Emerald as unweighed as well. So if you're interested in those, you can always go to my website down here, tcagaming.com. And I now have the light, heavy, and unweighed packs set up through there. Of course, you can email me if they're not set up just quite yet when you see this video. But they should be. Now, 
The reason EX Galaxies is a big deal because it has that card. It has the Rayquaza Gold Star, which is really expensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Latios and Latias Gold Star are also very expensive, but the Gem Mint 10 of the Rayquaza Gold Star, I mean, it can push $10,000 on the right day. Emerald has some decent cards in it. Uh, I think there's one card that's like a pop, it's really low pop, if not pop zero. It's like a Milotic EX or something like that that's, you know, super hard to get. But these two boxes, we'll sell them out as unway. This is a 36 count box, and I think this is a 36 count box as well. And then I have some more EX series packs coming in. I'm not really attached to EX series packs because uh, I'm mostly a Watsy guy. However, I do realize these are getting much, much harder to find. Now, these are nine additional game cards, so I think I pull two off of the back for these. Yeah, what would be really cool is if we pulled a Rayquaza Gold Star, but I think I'm going to actually set these down. I'm going to do the Emeralds first. But the thing is, you know, if I did pull it, nobody's going to want that box <laughs> because the Rayquaza is going to be gone. But it would be nice to pull because, I mean, it's definitely something crazy to get. Is this one nine? Looks like Emerald is nine as well. So we'll take the two off the back and we'll go with this one. Now, what's also nice about EX Series sets, um, these have a reverse hollow guaranteed in there. They're just like, what was it? Legendary Collection was the very first set that had the reverse hollows in it. And then, you know, reverse hollows have stayed in packs pretty much ever since then. So you're going to get at least something cool out of it. All right, there we go. And these are technically parallel hollows, so check out that Torchic. Emerald has some of the best parallel hollows. I mean, it's got the EX Emerald name on it. It's got Pokeballs and Stars. Really cool hollow form right there. And then we got some rare Zangoose. So we didn't get the hollow on that one. I think there's 29 packs left in that box. All right, next up we have that EX Deoxys pack. Let's see if we can get something cool out of it. Got Mad Cargo, Pluzel, Corpish, Makuhita, got Ball Toy, Natu, Beldum, and then there's the EX Deoxys kind of type pattern. These have a tendency to curve a little bit more, but what I like about this is I'm not seeing a ton of the edging around the, the border, and I'm not seeing loss of like ink within the card and that's pretty prevalent on these EX Deoxys reverse holographic cards. Now let's see if we pulled us a hollow or if we got a rare. Ooh, we got us a hollow. So we got hollow clay doll. Don't know anything about this card. Not sure if the hollows in these sets are worth that much. But um we got us one so right off the bat we know that these packs are good. So we've got chances for EX cards as well as gold stars. Lots of cool things that you can pull from these older sets in the EX series. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a, a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, help it out, get this uh, video some more views so that we can continue to every day come in here at 12 o'clock and try to open up some packs or do something really cool for the Pokemon game. Thanks again.